welcome back to another video. I am going to share with you today 10 designer bags that are all under £1,200. There are so many bags you can choose from that don't actually have to cost a whole load of money. I mean, they are still expensive, but you're not going to get over like the £1,500 mark or into Chanel territory where you're looking at basically pick a number above one add three zeros to it and that is like minimum what you're looking at from Chanel. Five of these bags I have and I'm going to show you and tell you why I love them or why I hate them or whatever and then I'm going to show you another five that I don't have but they are really nice and in fact a couple of them I'm thinking of getting. The first bag I'm going to show you is this. This is the Miss Dior, I think, some, I think it's like a Miss Dior promenade bag. It's sort of a bit like the Chanel wok in that when you look on the inside of it it has got a built-in wallet section at the back. Now I've done a whole review on this bag, so if you wanna see close-up details of it, I'll link to it below. But this bag is 1,250 pounds, and it's so versatile. You can get it in loads of different colors. I've picked this like crazy iridescent blue, but if you wanna go for something more classic, you can get it in black, in white, in pink, in patent in non-patent like a whole load of different options the one thing i will say is when i went on the website earlier today to look at how much this was this is still 1250 but the other bags around it are all starting to go up and i could see them on there for 1300 so if you like it i would go for it pretty soon this is the next in price this bag at the moment is i'm looking at a list on the floor um it is £1,230, so it's like £20 cheaper than the Dior. Can you believe it? When I got this, this was £950, and it's gone up quite a bit since then. And the great thing is with the canvas from Louis Vuitton is that it just always looks good. It wears so well, so I really, really recommend this. This is, by the way, this is, this is Louis Vuitton Artsy, and this is in the MM size, so like the medium size. You can fit a whole load of stuff in here. I've got like packaging in there at the moment, but this has been a really great bag. You can also get it in the Damier Azure and the Abine. So you can like, I think you can get it in some other, I don't know, anyway. You can get it in a few different things. If you wanna be casual, if you wanna carry a load of stuff around with you, carry this over your shoulder, it's a really good bag. This is from Christian Louboutin and it's the Paloma Tote. When it comes to, to bags, I, I try and buy the classics and I try and buy for investment. And those of you who've been watching, you know what I mean when I talk about investment, but if you're new, just to like put you in the picture, when I talk about investment, there are certain bags that you can buy them, use them, sell them for a bit more money. If not, make back the money that you bought them on. There's only a few you can do it with, and I think that you've got to be really picky with the brand. I think Chanel's a no-brainer, Hermes, Dior, and Louis Vuitton, I would say is like number fourth in that, four in that list or fifth or whatever it was but I try and buy from those brands because then I think if I ever get bored and I want to sell the bag to get something else I just know they're safe bets but this bag recently I've actually had my eye on this since this bag has been out nearly a year I think and it this is the size small you can get a mini size and a medium which is like I don't know why they called it the medium because the medium looks like large but to anyone who's looking at the Lady Dior, this is the equivalent of the Lady Dior in the size medium. And I cannot tell you how good the quality is of this bag. This is £1,195. It is pretty roomy inside, you can get a lot of stuff in it, and I like the way you've got lots of different compartments. It's still really new, so it's not really... Um, it's a little bit rigid at the moment. It also comes with a strap that is adjustable, so you can wear it crossbody. Doesn't matter how tall or short you are, you can adjust the strap and have it sort of fit you as you would want. But I, I like the way, when you look at it straight on, it's really classic. Then you turn it to the side and it's just like a little bit crazy with that classic Louboutin red there. Now, if you don't like the colorway on this, you can get it in like a really lovely baby pink. And I've also seen, I've also seen it in some like other colors and finishes. I really think that Christian Louboutin on his small leather goods and bags, I think he's gonna be one to watch because his shoes are already known to be, you know, they're known for like being luxury and, and what have you. But I think that with his bags and shoes, this, this size bag in Dior is gonna cost you 3000 pounds. The price of this is just incredible and that's why I also really want to show it to you because 
I cannot stop talking. You just know I love this bag. I really, really love this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and it's in the GM size. I actually use this as my gym bag and my travel bag. The price of these, I can't believe how much these have gone up. When I last looked at them, I swear they were like 500 pounds plus. Now for the PM size, they are, I think they're 750 and they work their way up through the medium to the large size, which is the GM. And I think that is about 835 pounds at the moment. So they, are, they have gone up in price. I recommend it because it's a basic bag in my opinion. It is a basic bag. I wouldn't want to use it as a shopping bag because of its openness at the top. And I know that you can, you can basically pull the sides in. You can pull the sides in like this and there are these sort of, um, there are these bits on the side so you can ruche the sides in. But to be honest, when you do that, it still doesn't feel very secure. It's probably gonna feel better on the PM or the MM size, but when you're carrying that around, like the GM is so big, but I, I got it that big for a reason, for like carrying all my stuff around in. But that is another really good bag that you can pick up for under the 1,250. Okay, next I'm moving on to another from Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton are actually really good for bags even under a thousand pounds they've got quite a few bags under a thousand pounds that are really nice this is one that i've been really liking it's the alma bb when i purchased this was this was about 650 pounds and i got it in april this year it's already 750 but it's a very versatile bag because of because of the canvas it is so hard wearing this is one thing i always say with all of the canvases is that you can buy these bags and you just you can just enjoy them. You can just sort of like throw them over your shoulder. If they knock into something, they don't tend to scoff that badly in my experience. And they look really cool as well. And with this bag, what I do is like, oh, I've done like a video on how I tie scarves around my bags to give them different looks. They're my five bags that I own that are under that price point that I really recommend. Obviously, because I've bought them, like, so obviously I like them. I'm gonna share with you some other bags. Some of these bags I really like. That Right, the first one I'm gonna share with you because I've actually got my eye on it at the moment and I might be persuaded to get it. It is the Stella McCartney. It is the Faux Deer Falabella bag. Now, this bag, you can get them in a couple of different sizes. The smaller size starts at 550. That is a very good price for a designer bag. Now these bags are not leather, so for any of you who don't like wearing leather, this is a good consideration for you. They look so nice. The only thing I will say about them, and the reason why I've never bought one to date, is because when I have seen them in the shops and I've felt them, they sort of feel like a plastic carrier bag. They sort of have that plasticky crunchness to them. Uh, but I still love the look of them. I love the slouchy, off-duty look of them. And I also like the way you've got the short handles at the top so you can wear it over your shoulder, or you've got that longer chain handle, you can fold the top over and have it like as an evening bag. So it's kind of like two bags for the look of one. If you like, if you like the idea of non-leather, but you maybe don't like this design of bag, she also does really nice bucket bags that look so pretty as well. So definitely check them out. Next up, it's Louis Vuitton. It is the Louis Vuitton Crossette bag. So pretty, I nearly got this a couple of months ago when it first came out. It is 965 pounds at the moment. I thought this bag was gonna be a lot more popular than it is. Do you remember the, um, what was it, the Metis, Metis? Um, that got quite popular, didn't it? I felt like it was short-lived though. I felt like it got really popular and then I was like, I'm just gonna watch this and see where it goes and if it carries on, then I might, I might look to get one. Um, and I don't do that in terms of trend. I do that in terms of if a, if a bag comes out and it's really popular and it stays popular for a long amount of time, my logic is, if I buy that and then I don't like it, I can sell it and it's still it's still in vogue, isn't it? Whereas if you buy a bag and it suddenly dies and you can't even give the thing away, then it's sort of annoying. It's like I've got the same thing with the Gucci Dionysus at the moment, which I'll come on to in a minute. But the corset is so beautiful. It is actually really cute. I've seen it in real life. It's around about this big. You can wear it crossbody or you can hold it on the top handle. And it also has got that little tassel on the side, which looks so nice. Now, when I looked at it, at the moment, you can only get it in the Damier Azure, but it's still really pretty, and I highly would recommend it. As I was talking to you just then about the Gucci Dionysus, 
This bag has been torturing me for so long. I really want to get it in the, not the mini, the next size up. I want to get it in the blue, the blue balloons. And I have had that bag bookmarked on my computer for months. And I haven't done it only because it's a trend bag, but I think we get into a point now where that bag is sticking around. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and whenever I look them up on Vest Air Collective or even on eBay, they're going for more money than they are if you buy it new. So that's sort of a good indicator to me, but I just don't know whether it's gonna die once the winter comes or whether that's gonna keep going on, but I'm definitely really considering it. Now, if you also like that bag, have a look at the mini size. The mini size is so cute and you can get it in loads of different color options. Now, the prices range from, I think it was 915 pounds if you just wanna get it plain with none of the blooms on it. If you do want the blooms, you can get it in the pink or the blue and the price for that is 990. I really like those crossbody bags that have, that have, they just have like a classic appeal to them, a bit like the Chanel, the boy bag or the classic flap. They've just got something about them when you wear that and it's got the flap over the top. I just like how they look and I think that's why I like the Gucci as well, but it's a good price. Now I'm gonna move on to the Valentino, right? So Valentino, I'm on the fence with Valentino because I have got a pair of the Rock Stud shoes. I've also got another pair of his court shoes that are part of the Rock Stud collection, but they're not the classic ones with like the straps all over them. And I've gotta say, I found that the leather from Valentino is just like, for the money, it's terrible. Because, and I'll link to those videos below in case you're interested, but the reason why I find the leather terrible is it's very delicate and it's got the color that they put over the top of the leather. Because the leather is so delicate, the color rub like rubs off and you can see the undertone of the leather. One of you in that video commented and told me that the bags do the same thing and I'm guessing it's because they're the same sort of leather. Please let me know guys. Um, I would hate to recommend something that's actually poor quality, but so far I haven't seen anything terrible said about them. Maybe it's just the shoes, but yeah, the rock stud bag, you can get it in a couple of different sizes, but I'm talking specifically about the size mini, which is 880 pounds. Again, I like it because it's classic. It's got that classic sort of flap look to it. Looking at it here in the red and the baby pink, both are really, really pretty. You've got that adjustable shoulder strap, so it looks really nice, but it's just a classic bag. And also one of the things I like about Valentino is that the, the Rock Stud collection has been out for, for like quite a few years now. And so I think if you do wanna sell those pieces on, they're still desirable. It's not like you've bought the bag at the height of a trend where it was quite expensive and then the trends died off and then you can't sell it again after. So I think they're quite good ones to go for. And now my final bag, and I should have done this first because I realize I haven't done these ones in price order, but I'm gonna talk to you about the Givenchy Antigona. It's the size mini, um, and this is 1,060 pounds. I've never bought into the Antigona. And like initially when it first came out, I liked it but I think I liked it because I was seeing it everywhere and it was making me think I had to have it. And the reason why I've never bought it is I've got quite a few bags that are that sort of shape and I don't feel like I need another one. But that said, if I didn't have bags that were that shape, it would be a bag I'd consider. And I like the mini size as well. It's not too crazy, it's not too big, it's quite cute looking. You can also get it in loads of different color options. I'm just gonna do a really quick outfit of the day because I always get loads of questions on it. My shirt is from Boohoo. It actually turned up this morning and I really like it. You can get this in white or pink. And I've got the pink, which I'm quite liking. I'm just wearing it with some black skinny jeans and I've got on my pink jawed watch today just to like tie the whole thing together. I've actually got a coupon code for these guys which I'll link to below. Do I have anything else on my lipstick? I'll put all of that below as well. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like any of these bags, let me know in the comments. If you've got any and you find that they like wear really badly, particularly on that Valentino one I was telling you about, let me know. Let me know what you think about the Gucci Dionysus trend as well. Like, do you think it's gonna die or do you think it's here to stay? Anyway, if I've left you wanting more, come and join me in the next video. I'm gonna to link to it in that little white thing there. Click on it and I will see you in a few minutes.